There's another collection of writings of, of, of Lao Tzu, and it's called the uh, Hua Hu Ching, which means it's the unknown teachings of Lao Tzu. And this is one of the things that he says in verse 59 and 60. He says, uh, If you wish to become a divine, immortal angel, then restore the angelic qualities of your being through virtue and service. There is only... This is the only way to gain the attention of the immortals who teach the methods of energy enhancement and integration that are necessary to reach the divine realm. The divine realm is the realm of meaning. When you are totally on purpose in your life and you're getting the guidance of the divine realm. These angelic teachers cannot be sought out, Lao Tzu says. You can't find them. You can't ask for them. It is they who will seek out the student. When you succeed, when you succeed in connecting your energy with the divine realm, that is live at a God consciousness way as God lives, through high awareness and the practice of undiscriminating virtue, the transmission of the ultimate subtle truths will follow. And then he says in verse 60, the mystical techniques for achieving immortality are revealed only to those who have dissolved all ties to the gross worldly realm of duality, conflict, and dogma. As long as your shallow worldly ambitions exist, the door will not open. As long as your shallow worldly ambitions exist, the door will not open. So then I go back to the story that I'm telling you about a CC and this magical miracle thing that I thought happened to me because I'm just a chosen one. You know, I'm the chosen guy with the big ego, you know, and like, of course St. Francis is going to pick me. Who else would he pick? All right. And, and so on. And I really thought that for the last five, I mean, just not like I was, I, I thought you know, I'm deserving of something special, but I just associated, using the intellect, I just associated all of the things that I was doing with, of course, this is a natural unfolding. And I'm obviously above all of these other people who don't, you know. So, so, so all of that was going on in my head. All right. And, um, and then, it, then it hit me when I read this and when I wrote Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. That the way that you make the transition to open the door to the divine realm, which is the realm of purpose, it's the realm of meaning, it's the realm of, of living your dharma, fulfilling your destiny, what you signed up for, is by living the undiscriminating virtue that he's talking about. So what are the virtues? And what was I doing in that moment? Now, in the moment that John said, what are we going to do, I didn't think of myself at all. It never occurred to me, nothing else occurred to me other than, whatever it is that's going on in you, forget it, just help this guy out. You know, you've got to help him out, and you're, you're, you're right next to him. You're the only one that can. And I forgot totally about myself. I let go of all of what might be, what might be involved with me, that I might, I might hurt my leg, that, uh, you know, that, that's a long way to carry somebody who weighs more than I do, that it's, you know, I didn't do any of that. I just immersed myself in total service to this person, which is what God realization is all about. I mean, the poet Hafiz has this wonderful line. He said, um, even after all this time, the sun never says to the earth, you owe me. He said, just think what a love like that can do. It lights up the whole world. So it's like, it's not so, so I was in the moment that I lived the virtues, was really 100% living the virtue. I understood what is meant when, uh, you know, uh, this idea that uh, the laws of the material world do not apply in the presence of the God realized. The laws of the material world don't apply in the presence of God, in the presence of God realization, 